What's up guys? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. We're Wallace Farm and Sawmill. And today I got something different for you. Something we haven't done on the channel yet. See that cedar log behind me? About to show you what we're gonna do with this thing. So across the way from me here, across the street actually, we got a good farmer uh, who is, he raises a couple hundred uh, acres of corn, soybeans, stuff like that. And he's been around the family for years and he contacted me and he said, hey, I got a granddaughter that's getting married and she wants those what do you call them you know the circles they want to put them for placeholders i said cookies that's what we call them in the uh lumber industry they are called cookies and we're going to take this cedar log right here we're going to strip it back to a pretty edge like we got right here and get the bark off basically i'm gonna cut this log probably about 30 something inches maybe I'm going to get a block off of it. We're going to take it over to the band mill. And I'm going to take a, a board down to the bottom of the band mill, like a little four by six or something like that. We're going to put it in the middle, and then we're going to screw this standing up vertically. So we're going to be cutting it into discs. Discs. That's just a weird way to say <laughs> something, isn't it? Discs. <laughs> it's the correct way. It's the way. But anyway, guys, we're going to, guys, we're going to cut this into discs. We're going to get a flat top and then start dropping an inch and a half into discs for this guy which is basically cookies we're going to be sawing cookies we've never done this on this channel um i have sawed cookies before so that's not something i'm new to it's just something i'm new to doing on camera and trying to show you guys how we do it and how you could do it if you got a sawmill of your own out there so let's get it <laughs> loose bark off just to get it out of my way all right guys so now we got to get this chunk of cedar over there so that means uh somebody's gonna have to man or woman up i don't know however you want to go about <laughs> we're that. gonna let you man up today John. I'll man up on it today because it's me. <laughs> don't worry guys i've got one back <laughs> You may not have it after this one. Maybe not. <laughs> All right. So, I know you're thinking right now, how in the heck is this going to stay right here? And I'm wondering the same thing. Actually, I'm not. I've got an idea of how I'm going to hold this here, so stay tuned to see how we hold this here. So, the plan is... We're going to put a couple of these screws in here to hold this at the bottom. Now, we're not going to come nowhere near where these screws are, but the plan is to get this attached to this so that we can come up here and make those slices. So, check this out as we shoot these in down here. And we're going to make that all one piece here, hopefully. I'm going to pick some of these good surfaces here to shoot this in and get the most holes most bang for our buck here so. see that feels pretty stout if i slow my head speed down pretty you know not trying to just run through this real quick and another question you may ask, you may say, well, why not just use your chainsaw? Okay, well, chainsaws are not smooth. Bandsaw mill is smooth, so that's why we're doing it that way. So, so we went ahead and raised the head up all the way, which on my mill, which is a large, you know, for big diameter logs, a wide head mill, I can go up to 35. So my first one will be a little thick because I didn't measure, I just blopped it off at like four feet there. But uh, every cut after that will go inch and a half. <laughs> head speed way down because we don't want to go into this fast we're only held by those couple screws
<laughs> All right, guys, we got a couple of these ready to go for our neighbor, like I was telling you. They're going to go into a wedding. Y'all going to put, like, wedding plates or something like that they're going to sit on top of. But they got something in mind at a wedding, place mats or something. But I wanted to show you where we were putting them. And uh, I'll get you some good clips of putting them or how we saw them and everything. So, All right, guys. So I want to show you here. We got some inch and a half pieces. My customer went ahead and neighbor over there come and got his. And I decided while the log was up there, I went ahead and cut a couple more extra to have on the side. I'll clean some of these up and uh, sand them and make them look cool and good. But uh, probably find a purpose for them. I just wanted to show you something a little different that we could do here. Now, let me show you something of how we had this set up. If you look down here, this is just something that was left over on the mill from a project I was cutting earlier today. And I was like, you know what? I'll just screw it to that and it'll be fine. If this piece would have been as wide as this, yes, it would have been a little more stable and you wouldn't have had that little bit of wobble. But we got done with it without any uh, problems. So I don't think we really could argue that it didn't work. It worked. So there's that. And I'm standing up high on top of the sawmill. Brittany's back here showing these cookies off. She did the filming today, and I was recording these. We're trying to do some little intricacies here. So I like them so much, I made them cut me some. Yeah, so we got <laughs> some extras. But check it out, guys. There's not a lot more going to be on this video. This won't be a super long one. I just wanted to show you a little project of something that was completely different and unique. So you can see that. But, um, yeah, so check it out, guys. Britt's got her Patreon over there if you want to go over and check us out. We also have our link to our bonfire in the description below, which is a t-shirt hosting service. I'm wearing my shirt. Wallace Farm and Sawmill. It's got a whole little back on there I'll show you. But anyway, guys, those links are in the description below. If you guys like this type of content and you want to see some more sawmilling, fishing, hunting, and anything related to the wacky doodle things we be doing here... <laughs> Check us out right here on YouTube and the links to everything else will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. See ya. Bam.